Let's actually start this earlier today. I just want to do as much as possible with the time that I I have. Okay, while I'm setting up, just so that you have something to look at, let me just do a turntable here. That's weird. Why is it not? Okay, let's jump for technical then. Technical preview. There we go. <clears throat> let's find some music. All right. Okay. Let me just jump in and start start modeling. Okay, so today we begin with an arm and then I will kind of work on the on some of the collisions here that, that we that we have But for now we do begin with an arm. So let's clean everything up cell CRV Delete cell PT. Where do we have points only one point? That's fine Um so that's a single group that is a single poly surface and then there's a point there also a cylinder for some reason okay that's weird let's see what's what's up with the cylinder it's just an extrusion okay i'll just get rid of that Um, I feel like we mirror this. Ah, forgot to mirror the point. Let's do it this way. Mirror the point to the opposite side. Just like that. And then get rid of this because... And the reason why I'm doing this, why I'm mirroring the whole thing on the left is because I'm left-handed. So for me, it's, be it's easier um, to envision mirroring from left to right rather than from light to right to left um a shoulder plate that we that we forgot let's just slap on a few fillets for it and then carry on like 20 i guess Mm, 20 is too much. Yeah, 15 is good enough. Okay, so that's fixed. Mm. 
show the whole thing. Take this, mirror this. Uh, where's the... Where's the screen? Hello? Oh, okay, it's it's in these layers. The who? I got scared there for a second. Okay, so now we need to get the arm proportion going. That's gonna be that's gonna be a little bit tricky. I think the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna model this in A pose. Yeah, or or T pose. No, let's let's go for A pose. Yeah. Okay, turn on the mesh and get the lengths of each segment. Um, is there like a fast way of, or not a fast way, but I guess I can just kind of mark it out like so. something like that and then the shoulder happens there okay which means that what does that mean it means that Wherever I have the center point of rotation, and it's gonna be like a ball pivot as well. So let's let's find the center point of rotation here. There, kind of needs to get extruded and gets moved back in and I'm thinking something like this maybe even here so that's where the actual like a uh, horizontal rotation will happen let's draw out a circle um, bigger like that <clears throat> let's get it closer a bit or mm, so it rotates no, this should work, this should work like that, which means that then we need like a one, two, three, and four. And with all of these, we rotate this 45 degrees or minus 45 degrees. Okay. So that's something. Mm, do we do that now though? 
Just like we need to do it. Later, maybe. Hmm. Okay, one thing that I kind of want to do is move this away a bit. By not a lot, but like this much. And just scale this more. So that it's more ag aggressive, I guess. Uh, then I want... Like this is gonna be halfway there, right? So I kinda want to block out. Um, give me the 45 degree. Or snap angle, ortho, 45, there we go. Okay, something like this happens. So let's see, that's a shoulder. Then we have... The muscle. Then we have... Another one. And then the, the arm, right? So the arm is whatever. For now. Okay, so we can work with that, I think. Um... Let's have everything locked here. Work on this. Okay. So it can't go straight down because of the hips, which tells me that we probably need it to be even wider. Maybe let's, let's make adjustments. So like that. This is the closest it can get. Then this is not a problem. Where is my 45 degree snapping? There we go. What? Are these not in the same plane even? Uh, project to C plane. But then I can't move them. Uh, problem. Yep, they are not on the same plane. So I'll just draw out like a line from them. Just like that. Select all of them. Force. Uh, zero scale in in one axis and then draw this back or connect this back to the line that i drew um 
just need to make sure that no this should be fine so we just straight up do this okay this should be fine we're still centered okay so that's a thing hi Avalon hello that's a thing that is currently happening we have this this doesn't need to be so outside so we can have it here um these two then can be fillet so there is no intersection here and there is going to be indeed a pretty pretty strong intersection here okay Human bone anatomy front view. Okay, this one is slightly tilting outwards like that. But I don't think that's no yeah, this 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 is what I want. Um So there is a small tilt. So perhaps we're on to something here. <clears throat> perhaps we can't have, have it like perfectly down. Which is fine. I can still model it this way though. Because why the hell not? Um feel like feel like this should be longer. Yeah, something like that. And then naturally, you know, this this is gonna be wider and so on, and there's gonna be like a whole intersection thing going on there, but I think this is good. <clears throat> okay, so that that's our basis for for the arm. Let's model it. So first of all let's start with the overall shape. Uh actually first of all let's Let's think about how does this look like when it's rotated 90 degrees. Yep, that's that's a problem. So this needs to be moved down for sure. Like that. And what kind of a gap do we get? We get a gap of 4.2. So I can do like... Uh, or no let's do 4.5 mil how do I do this scale by scaling um shit by scaling the points but not there rather don't give me the center point please I need the intersection please from here to here I want 4.5 mill so that should fix the intersection problems most likely now well, we can always check so if I grab this and I just kind of extrude this as a box copy that 
here and rotate it around this point but like so wait that's my shoulder no that's that's the wrong wrong axis this is the correct axis like that it doesn't intersect and we even can have like a a bulge outwards okay that's that's good that's good that's what I wanna that's what I want that's what I want so that bulge is gonna be created um, most likely soon and it's going to work in both here as well as here actually here I'm just gonna replace so that I so that I have it mm -hmm. okay so do we do dooby dooby do the front or the side first I feel like we need to do the side first, right? Feels like we should. Is this horizontal? Yeah, this is indeed horizontal. Uh, let's get some, some, some key points in here. Just for the sake of understanding the proportion of things sorry mm -hmm. uh, let's turn off the object snap and just start hammering it right so so <laughs> so 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 does this even make sense to do from the side i think it does but we could also just kind of do it from the front um Okay, let's try doing it from the front. Because from the front, I, I want it to be pretty flat. And then from the side, it's going to have a little bit of a curve. So I think the flatness of it will will help me, basically. Um, with that being said, how do we even begin? That is gonna curve up. That's fine. So do I do a 45 degree angle here? But then this becomes such a... Such a long... Thing. so I'm just gonna make it smaller like that and I'm just gonna grab these control points and just kind of move them out here to make this more prominent hello mr. geo Greek Gr Greece Greece land hello Hello, 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 hello. Uh, then, do we work with this at all? I think we do. And I think we do something like this. Mm 
Mm. Yeah. Okay. So something like this, right? And then the last bit is... Actually, this could be even thinner. Okay, like that. <clears throat> and I kind of want the top to be mechanic, quite, quite mechanical. Um, could you be just slightly, just ever so slightly smaller? Uh, the top is very mechanical, while the side... Or sorry, the bottom here becomes much softer. So perhaps we can do... Perhaps after this, it just kind of starts curving a little bit. Like that. Yeah, that, that's gonna do the trick. Okay. So we have... Uh, we have this. Let's start cleaning up. Join um, curve boolean. Very useful tool, by the way. Just give you the outline. Very nice. Um, do I need a circle? I will most likely need a circle. So I'm just gonna keep the circle. Let's just get this in here. Oh, we saw the speedrun. <laughs> the speedrun was fun. The speedrun was indeed fun to do. Why is this off center? Hello? Gumball? Two object? No, I don't even care about it being two object actually. But snappy dragging? I'm waiting for more clients to pop up um, for the very good architecture company so that I can do another speedrun. I feel like I can do it. <clears throat> sub 10 hours okay so we we will have that i don't need the lines here anymore perhaps well we'll see and uh, center line is gonna go away later for now we just do this Design takes time. Well, yeah, of course. Definitely does. Wait, this is not... Yeah. Needs to go there. Um, is there a place where I can snap it? Yeah, from point to point. So we end up with something like this. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's gonna work. Because then we can... Let's check for intersections. Forty-five degrees, seems good. Zero degrees, seems good. Ninety degrees, also good. Okay, so the swivel is gonna work. And we have a pretty, pretty good working profile. That means we can start cutting from the other side to close this off. So making more cuts. <laughs> 
kind of thinking. And this is gonna be a little bit more tricky. And also this is the, the wrong view. Uh, set view back. There we go. Um, okay, let's turn off the object snap for now. Oh, I forgot one thing. I forgot to do one thing. So this stuff that we do here. Actually, it's going to be... I wanted it to curve out, right? Yeah. So we will... Yeah, we will be taking this, making a copy of it. A more accurate copy of how I envisioned the, the width of the arm is going to be. Like that. And just only for the for the going up. Is it just for going up? Wait, now I now I'm confused. Up and out here. Also it could be here as well, but here it's gonna be flat. And here it's gonna be flat also. So Let me just do this real quick. So this, that. Then in the middle here. It goes up by like 3 millimeters. To get a little bit of a bend. It's gonna be very small bend but. Um, it will, maybe two more. It will catch, catch light. Hello Prani. Welcome. It will catch light and this. Um, this stays flat while this one actually expands. So can I just do this and like minus five? Uh, five is a little bit too much. Minus three. Okay, so now. The loft that we do should be... Uh, why is there... Oh, never mind. That's just my curve. Yeah, that's just my curve. That's great. We get a loft. We can work with the loft. Let's cap this. Um, I think we need to fillet edge and just hit it with a few fillets here and there. Just to smooth this thing out a bit. Um, is five too much though? Five might be too much. Actually, no. Let let's let's do a five uh, because later down the line we might need to do smaller fillets. Um, those are five as well and then for here we just do like a two or a three mil fillet let's see uh three barely works so let's do two because that that is getting too sharp there yeah two is better okay so it's it's like a block you know it's like a little bit of a block but we will sculpt into it and make it make it pretty so now i don't need these helper lines anymore i don't really need the circle i only need it need the point which i will lock in place because this should not be moved let's copy this in just to see from here to here i'll lock that as well Yeah, okay. Is it better to start filleting early? Uh, yes, if you're planning to stack multiple fillets with multiple Boolean union, Boolean difference operations, then it is better to uh, fillet your, uh, your object. Like, in introduce large fillets early on so that 
later you don't need to kind of deal with intersections between different sharp angles and trying to fillet those intersections because that that would just be um, would become a mess okay so let's do this then 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 let's grab that curve though let's make it a little bit smaller um, Actually, let's not make it smaller. L -l 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 smaller. Let's just add it there. I'm thinking. Give me a second. Offset 2. Uh, offset 3. So that we can do... Um... Offset four, so that we can do a two millimeter fillet there and one millimeter chamfer there. Um, so this is gonna be like a ring type of a situation. Planner surface. Planner surface, that bad boy. Um, and it's going to become problematic here because I, here I kind of want it to be uh, 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 like a chamfer happening. Maybe we can do like a tapering chamfer. Yeah, that's going to work. It's going to work. Where's my surface? There we go. Like a five mil ring. Mm. we do a five let's do a six mirror it to the opposite side uh all right this is not in proportion so we can't just mirror it like that we need to actually just copy it like so boolean union merge all co-planner um, immediately a, an issue there okay so we can't do we can't do this think again most likely this needs to give, give some breathing room right so it's it's like an offset in its own right and then we get a, another offset here that is going to be a ring before i do that though i will just carve into here cap boolean difference just to get this going okay uh, then i will want to fill this in but later for now let's just uh, planner surface it what did I, I i said six right yeah we, we were doing six and then we copy is there like a area which i can use i can use this to copy here okay this will be better this will be better We'll do the fillets here later because these are pretty small fillets, so it should be should be fine. Right now, I want to still work a little bit on the on the profile of this thing. I will grab, draw out a line here because that's where the chamfer happens, and another line here. <clears throat> And I'm kind of just draw out the profile that I want. So can you go up? Yeah. 
and then here can you go down mm -hmm. and here it becomes a, a, a little bit of an issue which might not be too big of an issue I might be able to squeeze in a chamfer in here so I'm calling these things chamfers because of the 45 degree angle that's that's the only reason they're not really chamfers but they kind of give that chamfered look aesthetic to this that's why I'm, I'm, I'm calling them this I will just kind of check how this behaves That's not bad, because I can then fill it here, here, here. <coughs> Apologies. And that's gonna work. I need this point and this point to move in, and this to taper down. I most likely need. Um, this to be above this fillet so this edge needs to be above this fillet and this edge stays somewhere here while with this i'm, I'm kind of happy i could lift this up a bit more and then this needs to taper in a little bit more so that that should be yeah, that, that should be fine. That, that should work. That should work. So, what did I say? What did I say? I said... This edge go up... Like that. Also... Let's just make sure that we're not forcing an intersection where we don't need to force an intersection. Um, double check. It's a little bit too close, I think. So we go down, but we're, we're, we're almost there. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's good enough. Then we have this, uh, which means that actually let's, let's work with this. Let's, let's work this one instead of the curve. It's just easier. So we get oomph, oomph, oomph. Oomph, like that, and then this edge here, duplicate edge, delete, um, control point go up, taper, 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 that's left view, there we go, back view. Uh, taper go all the way down rebuild with uh, six points is actually not bad but I will do like four points to get more control um, so I want it to start pretty sharp then it leans in ever so slightly or actually it keeps going sharp and it leans in right at the end yeah yeah like that Whoop. yeah that seems like a decent fillet or not fillet but like a decent trimming surface um extrude curve up till here join these up and do the trimmy trimmy uh do the filletti filletti first and then trimmy trimmy uh, always a good idea for this kind of a work just so that there's no no hiccups later okay Uh, 
uh, that's a problem. That is indeed a freaking problem. How can we fix the problem? I need this to go up. Okay. First of all, we definitely undo this. And we take this and we move it up. Move it up. Like that. Okay. So here it's gonna work. Uh, let's let's redo the fillet edge. Trim with one. Trim with the other. One thing that I stopped using when kind of modeling this is booleans. I just don't use booleans anymore. Okay, so we get this. Um, this definitely needs like a fillet edge and we give it like the smallest possible uh, whatever this radius is fillet edge and that is apparently a 5 and it's still uh, kind of works I mean it peels off but I think we can manage can we manage with it peeling off I think we can because I have a strat. Or we can do a 2. Then it doesn't peel off and then we don't need to use the strat. That's also a strat in its own right. <laughs> okay. Uh, then. This is an awkward area. Which I will make either more awkward or less awkward I don't know yet but I guess we will see uh, because I'm taking this I'm duplicate dupe edging it I'm offsetting it by four outwards and then offsetting it by four outwards again to get that sweet sweet ring back planner surfacing it and kind of just extruding it doesn't matter inwards to create this very very awkward lip here that might that might work let's see boolean union okay Merge all co planner. We get the lip, and then we can use a three mil fillet for this, so it kind of goes until the lip. Use a two mil fillet for this, and use a uh, chamfer edge, a one mil chamfer for this. You map it. Ah, oh, forgot one thing. And that thing is let edge chain all of the edges and get the whole perimeter in here and do a two mil fillet. That shits the bed because this three millimeter fillet is too much. So we first do all of these and still shits the bed okay 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 so that's that's a little bit of a a little bit of a problem i think the problem is here uh let's try 1.5 okay don't 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 you dare okay 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 so it's now here. The only area where it's problematic is here. Mm. 
it's not that bad uh, okay one oh that's why okay so it really didn't like that fillet but everything else works okay so one one's fine one is fine so two two there and one there okay don't need those anymore or actually we can just use the stylized tutorial yeah that's fine naturally we're we're gonna have more incisions and whatnot but this seems like it's doing what we want it to do um then i will draw out more stuff here so i'm thinking could we do like an arc here Hmm. Like almost this kind of a thing. So it kind of goes in at a 90 degree, like a pretty aggressive 90 degree angle. Then it does this kind of a weird arc thing. Well, less, less aggressive something like that so it leans in kinda come on so there's like a little bit of curvature but that curvature doesn't match up with the rotation value uh, angle and then let's say there's a whole nother mm. Stop snapping to things, please. Then there's a whole nother... Bam, bam. Bam and bam. <clears throat> Perhaps these are all flat like that and it just kind of leans in there yeah i think this will work uh so then we need to fill not fillet uh rather we just kind of connect them where's my snappy snappy my snappy snappy join those up um and the back side might let's go for shaded so again we're we're having that that issue with the disc but i think this time we're gonna we're gonna stick to it <clears throat> for the back side though L the little curve is part of the circle sure i can do it that way um so for that we need to actually anchor it uh to a uh, quad right there uh which messes it up slightly for us but that's that's not a big deal because we will be but wait so if that curve is part of the circle right and you are cutting into this right removing it 
then this is gonna look pretty bad. Uh, let me show you what I mean. Is this connected? Let's make this connected. Like that. Right, like this. And then this happens. And that is not good. And that is not good at all. Unless we again do the do the thing that we've did did here, but I don't want to kind of keep repeating the same the same thing. So no, 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 no. We will. We will kind of work it, work it down. I mean, keep it in the same spot, but kind of change the curveness so, so to be like the same as the circle that makes the center of shoulder. Ah. Wait, is it R? Uh, did I get it? Oh, it's this circle. Mm. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, so somewhere here, I guess. Like that. But then there's almost no cur curvature. That is a little bit of a... Of an issue. But perhaps we can... We can make it work. Let's get it there. Okay, are these three in the same plane? I assume they are not. I'll, I'll just safely assume that they are all over the place. They are in the same plane. Oh my god. This is the first time that this, this has happened. Things actually align. Okay, so we get something like this. Um, do we like it? I don't mind it. I, th I think that's that's fine. I think that is absolutely fine. Um, now it's gonna get a little bit more tricky. Or not necessarily. No, it doesn't need to get tricky. I can just join these fillet corners. I'll give it like a 5mm fillet here. Um, Copy this out here and here, and these two I will just push inwards, like that, and that is gonna force, uh, that is gonna force a curved loft, like so. Which then we can use to trim things and, you know, you know the drill. So how do we like this? I like it mostly. We'll see. Join. Fillet edge. It's very aggressive here. <clears throat> it's almost like a hammer. But I think if we carve in here, we will we will get rid of that that aesthetic. So 
it's not bad. Um, I will though give it like a pretty intense radius. <clears throat> that was too intense. Like three mil, which kind of messes up messes us up there, but I think we will manage. And let's just fillet edge chain them um and we're gonna be using radius of two just like we did for the other side okay two don't break fuck breaks where here um okay so you're breaking yeah failure That's because this is a two, but this is not a two millimeter fillet. This is like a three. Okay, what if we do, oh, right, right, we did one. Okay, let's do 1.5. Let's just check with 1.5, because I think we're very close here. Yeah, that, that works. That works. And then do a two mil fillet here. And do a two here. And do a one right oh that's a chamfer do one right here Ooh, okay Once we carve in here, mm -hmm. <clears throat> it is, isn't it? Once we carve in here, yeah, we will be able to reduce the mass of this drastically. But I think as it is right now, this is pretty cool. And also like the joint, once that is in place, that's also going to be pretty cool because that's going to be like a disc that will connect here. Um, am I happy? I'm, I'm quite happy. Let's work this further. So now I need... I need this disc. And I kind of need the, the whole length of it, right? Okay, extract surface. Um, you copy, yes. Okay, then log that and <clears throat> we need to figure out the correct positioning of this. So, oh, actually, I could have just done this. I don't need. There we go. So this, then my favorite tool that's called Untrim will give us. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> that, that's not not what I expected to get. Um, then we will do a different kind of tool, which is just a circle on the center. Pew. <clears throat> so we get it. So that's our circle, a full, full circle that is gonna get extruded up until here and we'll somehow need to connect um to the rest so let's think it basically can be two discs like that nope like that <clears throat> 
just cap that one disk second disk and the second disk can be <clears throat> can be cut okay so the second disc can be smaller as it's connecting to the interface here <coughs> And as a since we need to use the same kind of language here let's do something like that merge oco planner move vertical just force it until here Okay. Or actually, let's not let let's force it out. <clears throat> Make the intersection. So there's gonna be a little bit of a lip situation going on. That's fine. Uh, no, that's not fine because it needs to. Yeah, it needs to, 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 to be able to swivel, right? So it makes no sense to, to have it that way. No, so that won't work, okay. That's, that's fine. Because we still can have we still can have a pretty intense connection here. And a pretty intense connection here. That goes in. And kind of just extrudes out <clears throat> until something like so. So like that. And for it to work, <clears throat> this needs to be like a bounding box that is squished, like a disc almost. A disk. That will have the possibility to rotate around here. Mm-hmm. 
so that means uh, we need like another one okay like that um, is there like a, a faster way of how we can do this let's think um, if I if I if I <clears throat> get this edge is there another one in there um, that's that's tricky to get I basically need this to be opened um, without messing it up too much so I could just kind of get a point in here point in here point in the center uh, is this the point yeah okay um no that is not the point Actually, that point needs to be literally locked and never moved. But I get these three points. Which makes me be able to draw this beautiful, beautiful line. To this point. Then anywhere. Um, is it anywhere? It's anywhere as long as it's kind of kind of like that. Oops. And then until here. And then back to here. Okay, so this line is all messed up, but that's fine. I'll, I'll just scale it to zero to make it flat and realign the points. Wait, not to here, to somewhere else. Okay, um, so for that I need to make planner surface, like that, mirror it, like that, uh, okay, sure, duke border, loft it like that, okay, this was difficult, but it should be fine now. Boolean difference with this uh, that didn't join up for some reason. Hello, why? Join? Okay, and now Boolean difference. Okay, so we get this and the, like a flappy thing, which is fine. Okay, slowly. So we have the cylinder, we have the flappy thing, the flappy thing can get the fillet, uh, it's gonna get the fillet but later actually. Let's make a copy of the flap, make it smaller, Just something like that. And just maybe even smaller. Just make one, two, or one, uh, two, and then grab all of these and mirror them to the opposite side. Then we Boolean union. That's a difference. Mm. Merge all co-planner. Why are these not co- Oh, because that's a curve. That's fine. Uh, fillet edge. Two mil fillets all the way around. Or rather only here. Oh, actually here we can also do that. Then two mils here. Because these are like welded things and then one mil uh, actually chamfers 
windmill chamfer is here. Okay. This might be pretty sick once 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 it's done. Show selected, give me the disc. Um I think it's time to double check where the disc actually needs to be. Uh, these two need like a boolean union type of a thing to happen and then we just kind of copy this from here uh that was a uh, that was bad too many points try again nope too many curves can't wait for for the shoulder to be finished <laughs> okay uh so that is fine that looks okay this doesn't look okay this needs to have a little bit more of a presence here so i think Something like that will will be just fine. Yeah. And then and then only this rotates, right? So only this rotates. E. So it can't do 90 anymore. It can do like 85. Because of the intersection here. That's okay with me. Right, so this disc oh. is now the new the new disc boy. Okay. Get rid of all of this. What? All of this. New stuff will arrive soon. Please wait. Then, um, I don't want to keep adding like a lot of, um, not information but uh, how do you call it like resolution here but i'll just do a few things uh, to get it going uh, first thing is going to be a chamfer uh, like a three something like that then the second thing is going to be like a dupe border offset like a four mil offset extruded or uh, planner surface it extrude it inwards by minus like three millimeters and let's just do a boolean difference between the two that's thing number two then thing number three is going to be a little bit weird but i think that's it's it's just gonna make it better so i'll center this so I have like a center point. Do I even need? Yeah, I do need a center point. And I need like a, honestly an inter intersection between this and this. And just grab like a midpoint here. So I get like these two. I will draw a circle between them both. Uh, so that's how it's gonna look like that's good offset you two okay uh loft give me the surface 
and extrude it by like three mil out. Okay. Boolean union. Okay, we selected this one. Boolean difference from this with this. Okay. And the last bit that I want to do is going to be actually actually one more circle here. Um, offset by like 10 or even more, 15. Um, get this pretty high out. Yeah, that's going to do it. Cap. Boolean union. Uh, fillet edge. Like a five millimeter fillet here. To just kind of... Wait. Is my disc off center? Oh, no, 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 no. No, it's not off center. So why is it doing that? Oh, it's doing that because... Okay. Okay, so it's it's getting weird with the newest edition. So let's not do that. Let's keep it, keep it clean there. Okay. <clears throat> Like this. Three parts. Copy. From here to here. That intersection is not good, but it is what it is. Okay. Uh, then if we have this rotated, 45 degrees. Yeah, still works. And if we have this as well as this rotated 45 degrees. This also works. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Mm. Sweet. looks nice I think so too I like how it looks okay so that is done let's delete a bunch of helper lines actually let's do cell curve um, and select those delete everything else ah, feels good to to be able to delete delete it all uh, then here we kind of need to so that fillet is gonna be a big problem um, I will try to give like a two mil fillet here but that might just break no it doesn't okay so we can okay we, we can do it this way it messes up there but I think we can fix it is it the only place where it messes up yes uh, so can I cap you? I can. Uh, created three caps. Okay, the border, where are you screwing up? Right here. 
Okay. Not a problem. Let's just delete all of this. Uh, do border. Is this all, the only place? Yes. Um, planner surface. Closed poly surface. Easy. <clears throat> Easy peasy. Oh, by the way, I will need to leave in two hours. So today's stream is going to be shorter. Have work to do. Okay, then we have a swivel there. Hmm. I think we just kind of draw it, right? We draw how we think it should look like. Oh, this is not even locked, okay. Human muscles. Mm -hmm. So it's a sharper bend outwards and then a thinner bend inwards. Okay. So outwards is kind of sharp. Let's, um, I will borrow you for a second. Okay, so how can we make this a little bit more, you know, interesting? First of all, the rotation axis, I guess. That's that's what we need to decide where it is. And let's around the belly button, which needs to be initially somewhere here. Um, I could reuse the same rotation axis that I have here, but I'm thinking uh, no. I'm thinking no, and instead we're just gonna just gonna use a line here, draw out the circle. Doesn't matter the size of it. Doesn't matter right now, and play around with the placement of it. <clears throat> so okay, the question is. Is the rotation when the arm is straight down the rotation angle or axis of the shoulder does it match up vertically with the rotation axis of the elbow I want to say it does um, human arm rotation axis Um, that doesn't help, doesn't help. Yeah, okay. Spooky, spooky skeletons. Um. So this is defined by a straight line that is always down. No, I'm sorry. <clears throat> hmm. But uh, wait, are we looking at it? No, from from the side, from the side, from the side, something like so. 
throw this around there and around there. I think it doesn't matter. I, I think we can we can make it work both ways. So I'm just going to just give it a little bit of a boost for the to, to rotate around the front. Like the front of the arm. Something like that. Okay, so it's going to rotate around here. And then I need like a box or something to actually see what I'm dealing with. Because uh, this will then become smaller. Mm -hmm. And it kind of gets, you know, whatever box right now. Like that. Good enough to check. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's reasonable. Uh, we might need to just kind of move this slightly down. Yep. Uh, something like this. <clears throat> oh, the curve is all messed up now. And whatever. So we move this all the way down here. So basically I'm looking at um, the intersection moments and I'm, I'm, I'm being careful so that the arm doesn't self intersect. So that seems fine. The proportion seems okay as well because then we add, you know, the, what? The palm, something like so, and the fingers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. Okay. So, so now what? <laughs> so now what? Now I think we draw. Do we draw from the side? Kind of want to draw it from the side. Can can it be made out of two parts? Big boy. Something hollow here, maybe. And then we will need to deal with that once the time comes. Okay, but for now, let's just draw it from the side. Um, wireframe. Let's just go for red lines so that we see what the hell we're doing. Let's think. So this cylinder will be integrated, right? And it will be even larger like that. Well, maybe like that. So I kind of want a design here. That is somewhat reminiscent of that. So can we do also, yeah, there is, there is a little bit of a muscle definition there. So 
something like that, perhaps. And then... Then like that. I know it's right now very n noisy, so to say. And so basically it would be this outline. And then we would have like a break there. And we would have like a second, second area right here like one and two something like that Hmm. Okay, so we would have this and this part and these parts would be kind of interconnected by something in between. Um Yeah, that might work. Let let's try it. Let's let's try it. Why why do we talk? Let's just try it. Okay, that goes there, then we need like a, to grab a center, get it back to this center, not perpendicular, the center please. Every time when I need a center, it doesn't give me a center. Every time I don't need a center, guess what I'm getting? Fucking center, not perpendicular, fuck off. Center, there we go really really hope that they're gonna fix this crap okay uh then we <clears throat> kind of just copy this from point to point <clears throat> sorry something's in my throat point to point there and clean it up Um, extend and now trim. I could use cur curve boolean by the way for this operation, but uh, whatever. <clears throat> let's let's just have it trimmed. Okay, so we have uh, we have something. We have something going on. Uh, then this, I probably want like this to be curving, and this to be curving. One, two, snap there. One, two, and just get rid of the two jagged edges there. So it's gonna be softer. Okay, then let's make let's make a little bit of a copy and we make copies just like so. Um, so here the copy is going to be pretty close, like that. Um, can actually have it like pretty close here. 
like that but pretty far uh, comparatively speaking pretty far here does that make sense not really something like that perhaps and then I will just uh, mess around with them a bit so these two points these three points yes these three points just kind of move in like that uh, these three points kind of move in like that um never mind that one stays so it's just these two that do the moving in like that okay and we kind of wait This for sure needs to be moved in a bit more and this one kind of bends inwards like that. This will be good. Then we get something like this in here and for this kind of just make it a little bit wider. It's gonna be trimmed either way so I'm, I'm gonna make it wider just like that oh yeah fillet or do you fillet now or later now or later uh, later because we still might uh, we still might have something to fix okay that's good that's good these guys can now be just let's go for default layer whatever have that bitch capped uh what why are you not capping uh why are you not capping closed curve okay so you are closed you're also closed and there's no okay there's no scaling issues so I'll just project um, in here project to C plane delete the input bring it right back in here let's just kind of snap snap you guys to corner point corner point okay now there's no way that this ca uh, cannot cap unable to cap the openings did not have closed planner loops or edges okay are you a planner surface you are are you a planner surface you are so why the hell can't you just join you can okay okay rhino okay okay rhino and you yeah you can just cap that's fine um so that was weird but the construction curves worked out okay and it looks fine it's too bulky i will need to figure out the connection there but let that that looks fine uh, this I will make a bit wider and we'll deal with it through a boolean difference and boolean intersection and whatnot yeah that that should be that should be okay let's select the curves and select that one um 
just delete them big decisions big decisions massive decisions fillet edge um like the basic shapes here we fillet them at like five mil um just so that when we boolean difference um they we are still able to apply like additional fillets on top that are not you know 0 0.1 mil millimeters um because you always go down and fillet radius with every kind of intersection or, or cutting decision that you make okay so we have that then time to draw in the front and this is where we can actually have fun so let's say bam bam something like so yeah I mean not 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 that accurate but good enough I think that's gonna look good enough and then the other side um, the inner side rather that's gonna be a tricky boy Uh, ghosted maybe that is rendered ghosted maybe yeah um so can i immediately arrive at a pretty intense angle yes but maybe just with one point and the other one is right there and we do something like that and then there's going to be like shit going on there um this needs to be bigger this needs to be lower uh, but besides that i think we're we're on to something here okay all right okay all right so then we make copies as per usual so i need to decide where the thickest parts are gonna be and they're gonna be like closer to the front i think and then as it goes out it tapers a bit so this moves in this moves in and then also as it goes back it also tapers uh, and let's just reuse the same taper amount Okay, time to loft. Pom pom. Pom pom. Yeah, that's that's decent. It's not bad. Uh join 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 join. Uh, fillet edge. Um, actually, let's do a three millimeter fillet here. Face edges, these two faces, just fillet everything. Okay, fillet it perfectly. There's going to be a whole a whole deal with getting the connection here going but I, I think we'll we'll manage 
Uh, for now, let's just do the cylinder hole. Not just the hole, but actually let's place the cylinder in it as well. So like that, and then... No, for now we can just have it like that. That's fine. Like that. Let's just have it offset by like 4. Uh, by like five. Yep. Um, moved, probably. Gumball. Yep. Yep. Okay, so now this and this, they get the keys, Boolean Union. Then this and boolean difference from this with this. And then this just kind of shrinks. And that's about it, honestly. Yeah, that's about it for now. For now. Because actually we can do... We can do more. Um... Let's do one more thing. So the angle, by how much, how much can this kind of intersect? Yay much? I think yay much. Um, perhaps even more. Stop snapping, please. There we go. Something like that. And then it's too aggressive here. So we just kind of do that. Reposition a little bit. That seems good. And then it just becomes Boolean difference. With this. And then we delete. And now we have ourselves a something. <laughs> a something. Um, okay, one thing that I really want to do, and that's going to be. Well. At this point, you kind of know me, and you know how I, how I operate. I want to mirror this. There. Um, and just kind of mirror this to the opposite side, like that. Yeah, this is better. So now this this is the elbow part. And we have like a shit ton of, of um, connectivity or whatever you call it there. Then let's do bounding box. Mm, actually, how do we do this? Let's scale this up a bit. Like that. Scale this down. Is this enough of a scale? Yeah, that's enough. Kind of center it. Doesn't need to be perfectly centered, but kind of center it. Like that. Mm. Let's do a bounding box. Let's make the box go go in uh, becomes a problem there mm. 
the problem is actually not a problem. Because we can make, make it cool there. That's fine. Uh, but before we do that... No, actually we can't make it cool. Well, we, we can, but it's... Um, it's unnecessary. Because all I need to do here is uh, get to a quad. Oh, there is a quad snap, so there should be somewhere here. Center. Intersection. Center. Okay. Turn off all of the bullshit snaps. Now. Nearest, nearest, nearest quad. There we go. That's the one. That's the one. Uh, like that. Um, let's do Boolean Union. Merge all cool planner as per usual. That I like, that I don't like. So we need to uh, perhaps get get this curve in here duplicate edge get it out here offset surface offset it outwards um why is there no oh yeah there there's the solid per <laughs> option and let's just do like a 10 uh 10 was too small Let's do uh, 25. There we go. And then, 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 where is it? Bounding box again. Let's 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 get it like that. We need to. Okay, let's take a gander. This goes out like so. Only this can be moved. And it kinda just does this, right? Boolean difference with that. Show selected. Show that. Lead that. Um other way. Other way. Other way. So don't boolean difference. But rather move it like so uh, this is so so weird boolean difference now from this with this and then delete that okay then from this boolean difference with this okay then show selected or just show it all now this actually works and it can kind of weld in can connect there that's good that's good so we can use this sweet um do i connect it there now i guess i do right and this one gets connected to that as well Uh, and that boolean union okay select the edges um yeah let's do a three mil here here we don't really need to do anything um i wonder if we do a three mil here no, we first need to fillet all of these, but those are going to be two millimeter fillets. Yeah. And then we do a two mil fillet around there. 
And I think, like, if I know Rhino well, it's gonna... No? It... Yeah, yeah, because it fillets outwards. It works. Nice. And then let's chamfer edge. Uh, let's hit it with a 3. Mill chamfer, a pretty intense one. Go. That's what we're dealing with right now. Yeah. That seems okay. That seems okay. <sighs> Ooh. Mm. Okay. One and a half hours left. Mm, this can actually be flat. Not because I'm in a rush, just because of the aesthetic. It's too... Too much here. Is it... Oh, am I breaking it? Oh shit, it's breaking. Yeah, yeah, that, that ain't gonna work. 1.5 hours can be too long or short, depending on what I do here. Yep. I'll tell you a secret. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Let's just try something like that. From one side and like a pretty calm curve from the uh, other side like that um, that kind of makes it let's do it this way that's better the lead corners a fiber Zoop. Trim, 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 trim. Join two. Okay. A little bit of something, something, then, 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 we need, like, uh, let's draw a sketch real quick. Do I have, like, a, yeah, front view. Uh, so, I'm thinking, one bone here. One bone here. Mm. I feel like that would work. Somehow I have a feeling. Let's try. I know I keep saying this, but hey, that's how we roll. Oh, that that's a good beat as well. That's some serious. Uh, diameter, no, not the radius, uh, five mm, more than 
big boys big boys big boys big boys um so then this actually needs to um needs to be closer in here so that when i extrude this out and scale this down it kind of does this exactly what i wanted to do which means that this one also needs to go in and do exactly the same thing goes out gets scaled down and i'm looking at the intersection so now i like the intersection we yeah we dig it we dig it mm, so it's gonna gonna be doing that uh then 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 here it's kind of the same thing so here i don't need to do anything but here i will actually extra this all the way out here scale it down could scale it to a point as well hide the point um, so it becomes very thin there but it might work it might work okay so we have this which is you know not not the most aesthetic uh, that is not a problem we do the bounding box thing Let's just just have them cut very close to here, maybe. Um, and actually, let me do this with the bounding box over here, extrude it out here, and And this, as well as this, gets scaled down, like so. Okay. Uh, do you have any idea how end result will look like, or are you going in blind? Um, what do you think? What do you think? Do I look like a man with a plan? Okay. That might actually work. Uh, this doesn't give me the center point anymore. That's always nice. Um, yo. Yo, come on. Oh, but I can get the center point from there. So that's it's okay. Um, and just give me a center point from there as well. Get the two points. And make some pipes. Some more pipes. Uh, so that was a 10 mil. Uh, let's do a 5 mil now. I think we're close. I think we're close to this being actually aesthetic, like aesthetically pleasing. Um. Let's say this one is beefier. That one is less beefy. Uh, what does a 3 mil chamfer look like? Um, mm, is there like a, a different method for chamfering? Chain edges, face edges, preview, previous edge selection, edit. Okay, so there's no. So that angle is messing me 
angle an angle angle that angle is messing me up how do we fix that um so we kind of do a chamfer that's okay i'll just take this that skills down that skills down a little bit we do some boolean difference shenanigans here okay um then i need to then i need to take this and scale it up a bit let's say up until here uh copy scale though up until here and then we do um, intersect we do an intersect here between these two or these three so we get the curves we get the first ring of curves and the second ring of curves is just this no not even this but is this uh, dupe edge okay so we get that as well now this is where it gets a little bit funky we start deleting things and we start lofting things that's a planner that's a loft and that's uh that's a loft as well please give me give me give me give me loft are you yeah that's correct um all right, so that works. Uh, we can do it this way. It takes a little bit of time, but that's fine. The chamfer is way too too strong right now, but we have like a variable chamfer distance that forces the circle into 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 um, something like that, probably into a flat state. that for a second are you unable to join uh, what are you unable to join this one because it's already joined in that's cool join that okay um yeah yeah okay yeah okay we can do it this way, I think. I think we can do it this way. That's fine. Um, feels like there is a better way to do this, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to search for it. I think this will work. So let's just do it this way. Sure. Uh, don't need to overthink, overthink it. Let's hide this for a bit then. Get those in edge uh, move the edges up so this one kind of stops there and this one stops somewhere around there let's force an intersect um, I only care about these two curves so I'm gonna delete the rest uh, then this one nope the edge please dupe edge move it then we get rid of the surfaces okay and then we re-loft everything uh, so this with this with this uh, straight edge loft 
Um, that's a problem. That's twisting, so I can't do it that way. That's okay. I will do it one pair at a time. That's fine. Um, this is fine. This is fine. Uh, curve with curve, please. This is fine. Uh, that's an edge. No, we don't do that. Um, come on, give it to me. Curve with curve. Yeah, that aligns. Uh, this one was problematic, so let's double check. Yeah, it's it's somewhat misaligning there. Uh, but I can force a quad here, and that's kind of good enough, I think. Looks like it's good enough. And then there's going to be one last thing here. Planner. <clears throat> planner. Come on, planner. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I can't type anymore. Planner. And I think that's it. I think at this point we just joined everything up. Uh, closed, 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 closed. Okay, show. Uh, show. Uh, cell curve. Still have a curve there. Delete the curves. Let's see how these um, how these work together. Do these marry uh, in a nice way or not? So this boolean union. That's neat. This boolean union. That's also neat. Um, yeah, we just fillet edge and just uh, two mil fillet and just hope for the best. Uh, no, never mind. We do a 2 mil fillet here first. More. 5. Forgot to do those. A fiver there. A fiver there. Come on. Um, the right there. Oh my god, that's gonna be a doozy. That's gonna be definitely a problem. I know. I know for a fact that this is gonna be shit. Um, I know Rhino, but hey, we can we can still try, right? Right? Maybe 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 it's gonna work, right? Chain edges, please, please. I mean, come on, come on. I I know I know there is an edge there, but just just please be coded in, please, please. Rhino developers, I mean. It's such an easy problem to solve. I'm gonna scream. Why? Okay, what about the, the others? The others are gonna be fine, right? Right? Yeah, this one's fine. Yeah. The fucking fillets, man. The goddamn fillets. And I called it even. I mean, I, I knew that this freaking edge. Okay, um... How do we fix this? I could technically... Get... Get rid of this. Um... Yeah, but if if the cylinder was rotated, yes, then it would be fine. And I have no, I can't move the seam after 
boolean it's a destructive operation so i need to loft um i need to do edge all of these edges and get that edge in there um no i don't even care about that edge i only care about these join them up extrude this down and just move this vertically until until it reaches here okay so we're at the same problem but now i am smarter so i'm just gonna do 90 degree rotation so the seam is now here um this and this needs to in intersect this gets hidden the intersection is used to trim this gets deleted so we join everything back up fillet edge chain edges then it works oh. I mean, how many forum posts, how many forum posts should there be before they fix this? Just steal the technology from SolidWorks, so from Fusion 360, from Moi, from any other CAD software. Just steal the technology, it's there. At this point, it's like a meme almost. Is this exploded? No, it's not. Okay. Mm. Let's do like a. Let's do like a two mil fillet. <clears throat> for these ones. Well, that this is gonna be fun so two mil is not gonna work for this or is it no it uh, uh. yeah it does it does it does it does okay we're gucci we're gucci um then about this this needs to have a fillet but definitely not a two millimeter uh most likely one millimeter uh maybe even less because of the sharp angle that is created here one millimeter is fine um so let's let's apply also like while well, well, i'm at it while well, while i'm being all negative and such why the hell when i chain the edges you know i i select this loop i can't select the other any other loop select connected curve why why can i do next no I just added can I do all it's only for this loop why can't I just you know okay I'm done with this and I can just jump and select the other loop Rhino devs trying to be original well <laughs> yep <laughs> that actually might be might be accurate what's usp and also it doesn't remember that i always want to chain the edges that also messes me up a bit don't like that don't like that at all But by the way, face edges, if I do face edges, then it does let me select multiple faces. But chain edges, no, you can only have one loop. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with being a negative. 
Also, I'm done with the arm. Unique selling point. <laughs> so then it's UP. It's unique point. Because uh, there's no way that they're selling with this point. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. Like a little bit of a situation going on. A little bit of a additional movement in the in the arm joints it's a little bit more aggressive but i think that's fine okay so we let's get rid of that get rid of that the hell is this oh that's the arm uh the the hand i mean not the arm okay uh two points Three polysurfaces, two extrusions. Okay, where are the points? Hello? There, the points are there. Those are the extrusions. The extrusions will need to be attached to s at least one part. Or actually, uh, let's not. Let's, let's have them kind of... Let's have them just disconnected uh, for now because I'll want them to be in a separate color. Uh, so that's one, two. All right, we forgot the the chamfers here and all of that jazz. So let's do that. Fillet edge radius of three. Mm, radius of two. Let's not be too fancy. All right, I keep forgetting that I... <laughs> you can't select more than one. Edge loop. Nope, not allowed. Against the rules. Prohibited. Okay, that. Uh, next rate is two, yes. And then. Chamfer. Chamfer. Okay, so that's done. Uh, then here we have a little bit of funkiness going on. Um, I wonder if it's possible to fix it. Let's try. Let's try fixing this. So here I do need to fillet edge and I need to add like a pretty strong fillet, like a five on both of these. Um, well, that doesn't give me confidence. Let's isolate and take a look. Oh, because of that, huh? Okay, so we can't do five. Uh, fillet edge. Or we can actually do... Let's do this. Uh, fillet edge three. I showed this last time. It's pretty nice um, about the fillets. So three works, right? But then I can select this. Fillet edge again. Go back into, into it with edit. Choose the object hit enter and now I can roll back these two fillets to five so in doing so I get a variable fillet radius from three here because it does the five doesn't fit to five here because five fits and then then it works right so I have a, like a pretty strong fillet there and pretty sharp one here so that's a nice I mean a nice feature I think that's pretty good. This is going to be problematic. So this needs to be even less. Um, not to worry. We edit it again, select. And instead of five, we actually don't do five. We do <laughs> back to three. <laughs> oh, no. Just because of that gap there. Okay. At least I, you know, had the opportunity to, to show you that. Uh, not three though, here, like a two mil. Don't break? Didn't break. Hell yeah, worked like a champ. Okay, so we have that, that's all neat, neat, neat. Uh, neat enough. Uh, pretty strong. Um, how does that look like? 
that looks very a very strong cut um stylized uh not that bad not that bad okay i dig it so now this is catching light correctly this is catching light correctly we have it all Whew. okay let's get back into it so all of these uh what do we have three poly surfaces two extrusions extrusions are the pipes and then the three parts yes that's exactly what i want then from here we copy to another point right here <clears throat> and the hand will happen later <clears throat> like that I guess it's very hard to tell uh, but let's rotate uh, 45 nope minus 45 yep like that Get all of that in there, zero. Yeah, that works. That works. And then we'll be able to rotate this. And I can actually do duplicate border. scale it up like that and then we need to somehow be able to rotate this right so this this group um, That's weird. Uh, gumball aligned to object. Let's just have it somewhere here and a little bit smaller. And just have a copy of it. Draw a line from center to center. Draw a line from center to center. Okay and this is going to be our rotation so then we can rotate or rotate 3d that's gonna be the axis and we just kind of without object snap we're able to rotate it yeah that that's fine that seems that seems correct and then it um is is it centered yeah that looks centered that's fine um and then it can kind of rotate uh 45 degrees like that just to give us an idea okay so that is fine that is fine how does that look like extended looks absolutely okay gaps are still there gaps are still there so this works this of course of course will not turn but that's okay we will have like the turning motion here uh and we have that that Yeah, okay. 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 Mm. 
So I don't need this anymore. This can be closed. This one can stay actually. It can be our rotation thingy, thingy magic. So let's just have it. Um, uh, rotate. 3D uh, rotated. Not 3D, sorry, just. Uh, actually, I can do rotate 3D, uh, but I need snapping turned on. And then just choose the correct axis and do uh, 45 mil rotation. And just kind of copy it to the correct area. Like that. Um, also, these two need to be copied. Let's get rid of this. This can kind of go away. Or actually, it shouldn't go away. Rotate 3D um, from here to here. It needs to actually be there. And I will honestly do a few more things with this. So let's let's have this as a group. And, and while we're at it, that as a group. Then let's take this and kinda 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 kinda. Uh, use last axis, copy, yes, and then just 45, and then kind of just up like that, move it from here to here to this point, and just have that. Like so. So that's going to be our kind of um, a little bit easier to, to, to use rotation. I will do the same thing for the leg as well. This is just going to be, you know, uh, for, for testing out rotations. Uh, much more helpful than trying to fish out that single point right there. Okay, so we'll have that. That's going to be for the leggy leg. And there's going to be one more. <clears throat> for here. Like that. I hope it's that. Is it that? Yeah, it's that. Is it that? Yes, it's that. Uh, no, it's not that because it needs to be here. Wait, why is this? The hell? That's incorrect. So I missed it up. Uh, okay, unlock selected these two. Does this one contain any additional? No, it's just a, a leg here. Um, so this needs to be centered. Let, let's grab like a, let's grab a bunch of points here. That's a center point. And sure, that's a center point. 
and we need to make sure that these two center points are in the same axis in every single axis okay uh we can do that by just simply using scale but the gumball needs to be aligned with the world zero like that perfect and which one moves so it's gonna be this so it's gonna be this one that moves from there and actually the group as well from there to to there that was a whoopsie that would have cost me a lot afterwards But it seems like now everything is in order. Let's double check. Is it? Uh, it's not. Is this the center point? So, oh shit. Oh man. Okay, again, 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 again. Undo, undo. Get rid of all of that crap. Um, that's the center point for this okay that's the center point for this we draw a line we scale the line we take the line we move the line and the line needs to be moved huh? why is the line so so thin Oh, that's because of this. Uh, no, this kind of fucks off. And the line actually goes until here and then it gets scaled. Um, and then we will be moving with this. Like so. And then we'll be moving all of this. Including the point and this. From this point to this point. Okay. Please. Okay, things are aligning now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. Whoops. Okay, so we have a turning gizmo for this as well. We can just mirror them to the opposite side and save this. Modeling of the arms. Well, not of the whole arm situation but of p partial modeling of the arms completed uh, wee. let's think what do i want to do now So we need to pose this and then uh, call it a day. But before that, I need to take a pee-pee. So pee-pee break. Uh, look at the pretty technical drawing of this. Ooh, it's chugging. Be right back.
well unmuting myself would be a good idea wouldn't it so i was saying um stylized tutorial view is not in rhino 6 so try to channel your inner sherlock just just try 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 your best if something is named stylized tutorial tutorial right and i am famous for doing youtube tutorials could there be a chance <laughs> that there is a tutorial or precisely that view or, or that sh shading technique because I also have the red one here check out on the main channel um, how is it called how is it called something something rhino custom preview or rhino view uh, viewport stylized viewport I'll, I'll search yeah yeah this one There we go. And I mean, it, it, the, the first 24 minutes are not going to be important uh, for you. But af after that, so just skip ahead. After that, it's going to be what you're looking for. Uh, no worries, no worries. Okay, so let's let's model or not model, but rather let's let's do some sort of a composition with this uh, plastic. Uh, we add this to rendering too. We check if there's there's plenty of crap in rendering too that we didn't remove. Um, okay, hide all of that. So all of this is in, oh, it's in default, uh, hide that, uh, this, this goes into, actually it doesn't really matter, uh, for now just go to default as well, yeah, that's fine, I'll, I'll clean it up later, uh, unlock as well, that little point there also goes to default. Mm, so how do we pose this? Okay, so we can do We can do a praying thing, maybe. Um, actually, we, we start with this. Like that. Just maximum. Oh, right, it's, it's set to copy. Um, So don't intersect too much. Mm, fine. We will we will force an intersection and then we'll um, we'll figure out how to solve that later. It's okay. Mm. 
Uh, let's first check if, if it can actually kind of hold the hands together. It's still not even has the stumps. Hold the stumps together. So both of these need to be Oh, also there's like a additional rotation that I didn't think of. Um, shit, for forgot about that. Uh, so, so there's gonna be a third one. That is gonna be hard to snap to, but I think we'll 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 find a way. Yep, that was actually easier than I thought. Well, okay, now I need to fish out the curves <laughs> like that. Okay. So that's a rotation as well. Um, so first of all, everything, everything gets rotated with this as well as um, this is difficult like that, I think. I think we have everything selected. Let's double check. Uh, oh, right. That one. Okay, that. Rotate. <clears throat> 3D. I'll, I'll, I'll later have like a grasshopper script that does that. Just kind of... So let's do like a... 52, like a 60, 50 ish. Okay. So that is done. <clears throat> then we can do these just kind of rotate uh, rotate 3d rotate this inwards like that yeah okay so that's where the problem happens <clears throat> we don't have We don't have a way of how we can rotate, like change this axis. So there will need to be like a breaking point here. That's gonna be like a disc type of a situation. Which is fine. I don't think that that's a problem. Because we'll just need to cut in here. And then it's going to be able to rotate. Because every joint is... Right. If I if I try to do this, then there is this motion. Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So this needs to swivel. Um. So there needs to be a cut happening there. Um. Do we do the cut now? I could do the cut now. Uh. We have thirty minutes left. Uh. Let's let's uh let's try this. Can you make it rotate from the joint? No, I can't because the joints are the joints that I use are 90 degree, you know, like they, they're disc joints. Um, they, they have one degree of freedom. 
So we need to actually have... Like a cut going on here. Mm. Let's let's make it clean. Align to C plane. Uh, what? No. I'll, uh, snappy dragging. There we go. No, that's the wrong one. The ortho with forty five degrees. That's the correct one. Uh, so something like that. Um, too much. Just barely cutting in. Let's get the ghosted. Oh, this is ghosted. What? There is not much going on with this then. Like that. Let's get the mirror of this going on. Move the mirror down by like minus 50. Uh, minus 5. Mm-hmm. Is 5 enough? Let's do 5 here, 10, 10 seems to be better, okay, we'll have that, make a cut, um, trim, with these two, mm, select cut, select object to trim press select pressing shift to extend uh, here and then these two are used to trim away these okay join nope join okay so now this is disconnected uh, which sucks but it is what it is I guess there's no way to have it connected. Fillet edge 5. Because this can be still pretty clean. Oh, you can see Rhino now really is, is chugging. Okay, 2 for that. 2 breaks. Um, 2 breaks because of that. So we need this to be sharp. 1 chain edges. For the top one one breaks okay uh that's not good one succeeds everywhere except this corner um 0 0.7 yeah yeah because this is very sharp uh 0 0.7 that area is very problem yeah 0 0.7 is fine um so that means it's gonna be fine here as well yeah okay uh, then we need we need we need we need like um, where's, where is it go straight down like that um, actually wrong wrong one I will get two points from here so let's let's hide that um let's hide that and let's get a point from this center a point from this center create a line between them draw the line up from the midpoint i said up oh that's not up that's up um, back to shade it. Uh, that line intersects right here. So I will get an intersect between this object and this line. I will draw a circle here. Just like that. make a make an extrusion there force a stronger extrusion cap boolean difference 
subtract with this okay uh, now we can make them smaller mm. yes now we make them slightly smaller but slightly um, push this down in like that copy from here to here uh, perpendicular there we go like that uh, then this and this gets boolean union okay these are now happy that curve is messing me up these are now happy let edge radius 1 uh, for all of these edges here should not be a problem is <laughs> a little bit close uh, but wasn't a problem uh, chain the edges here okay and now now the, the only thing left to do is uh, chamfer edge like one mil chamfer for here um, and then chamfer edge one mil chamfer for here okay we have ourselves a new new and improved uh, I don't even know how it's called like a shoulder not shoulder Sh shoulder slash bicep thing uh, that was actually pretty fast that was pretty damn fast okay <clears throat> that means now we can take this <clears throat> and replace it with this right so I just need to copy from here to here shade it I just need to um to to get 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 this rotate it just kind of move it into the correct position which is going to be tricky never mind I made it in the first try that was easy and this needs to be scaled like three times uh like two times here and here what 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 hello what no uh, okay oh i see okay so it shoots the bed there um can we have it not shit the bed somehow? Um, okay, so if I delete this, I can't delete this. Great. I love it. Great. Amazing. Just love it. Okay, so we delete that because I'll need to replace it with this. Let's isolate this for a second just so that we see what we're dealing with. Oh, that's why I didn't see it. I need this to be with colored back faces, but then it's going to be all red, right? Yeah, which is funky, but uh, good enough for what we're trying to do here. Okay, loop border. Let's see. Isolate the border. Can we just, uh, yeah, I, I, I get it. Uh, that's, that's the problematic area, but I think we can still sweep you, right? Let's explode. Eight segments. Uh, that's not ideal. Join. Sweep two. First, second rail. Shape, shape. Enter. That's pretty clean. I'm, I'm. I'm okay with that. Show selected. 
show me this can you guys get joint you should be able to get joint right closed poly surface perfect that's what i want um there's a bunch of curves there that i don't need show uh don't need to color the back faces anymore copy again from here to here okay <clears throat> So we're back to here. Why the hell is this messed up? Oh, right, right. That's because I'm um, kind of moving it here, moving it there, moving it everywhere. That's okay. That's okay. That's not a problem. So this gets rotated in 3D by this axis uh, by minus 45 perfect so everything fits that's exactly like i wanted it to be um except that here here it needs to oh man okay first of all uh, you kind of need to fuck off i will deal with you later uh, oh, that 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 stays Okay, 15 minutes. Let's speed run this. Let's just speed run this. We get these two. Uh, this one we actually don't need. I accidentally deleted the one that we do need though. So that's fun. That's really, really fun. Really good. Really great. I'm happy that I did this. Uh... For some reason, I only have it here, so I'm going to remirror it. No, it's fine. Uh, so that goes away, and this whole portion goes away. All of that, okay. Try again, 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 again. That will come in. Okay, copy from from where? Doesn't really matter. I can use. Uh, let's use this inner center point here, and just you reuse that. Uh, it's fine, but it's not rotated properly where I want, where I need it to be. Uh, so this whole thing needs to rotate 3D around this axis and let me guess i used some sort of a yeah i use an inconsistent number um, uh, of course Also, it needs to be rotated. I will answer a question about computational design later. Let's group this. Let's have this grouped. Uh, the fuck is that? The hell are you? Don't care that um this needs to be looking at that so this copy from whatever center point of the beveled edge needs to align with that uh, we can do this rotate 3d around this and then from this edge point right onto here right uh no because this needs to be first rotate 3d rotate it back in like that 
Now it's going straight down. And then, only then, do we take this and rotate 3D from here to here. Um, and then from this to this. Is this aligning? It is aligning. Oh, thank God. Okay. And this is also aligning. Everything is in order now. Okay. So now we have one additional. Uh, this actually needs to not be there at all. Um, we have one additional kind of axis of rotation now, which is really good, which means we can um, ungroup this, select this, this, 10 minutes, oh my god, um, select all of these, rotate 3D, Come on, give me the center, give me the center, give me the center, give me the center. Give it to me. Oh, there was the center. There we go. And now I can... Uh, with ortho turned off, I can ro rotate the arm inwards. Easy, by the way. Easy, easy, easy. So it's only this part that we kind of need to not like goes into rendering to this in there. I'll fix the oh, this disappears. Okay, and these are like plastic uh, light gray um, out of context question do you think computational design will become more popular and adapted in standard practice when going to be, when is going to be the peak hmm hmm I think it's already adapted quite quite a bit into the standard practice. Um, at least from like from companies that actually care uh, about growth and so on it's already kind of happening so it's, so it's already really well integrated much more integrated than the academia for instance so this one just kind of can do that okay you sir will need to swivel for me and take a look at what you're holding and the question is what are you holding uh where's gravity huh Okay, so I need curves. Mm, there is like a project thing, but we don't use that actually. Let's let's use planner instead. Um, something like this, and then in the top view, let's have it do. Something like that. Mm. 
We'll see if that will, will work. That should work. And then another one. From the opposite side. Um, can I just... And I have it like that. Oops. Uh, okay, that those as well. Uh, we're getting one point, that as well. Okay, as close as possible. Good enough. And then this also needs to drop pretty damn close for this thing to actually work uh, like that 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 uh, that's two the two wires are too close that should be fine okay um, set multiple you and you go reset Let's look at the curve itself. Yeah, that's fine. That looks okay. Um, that does need more points though. Let's look at uh, the discontinuities to see if... Mm, that's not enough resolution. And also, what's up with that? What What's up with the discontinuities there? Why are they not... Um, degree one. Uh, so we'll we'll see we'll see we'll see. What is the next revolution in architecture then? XR or biostructures? I think robotics. I I, I think like tra transforming architecture is gonna be a thing. Um, so we have that. What's up with the, that point, though? Uh, rebuilding is weird, so let's not rebuild just yet. Um, instead, let's... Why is this merging? Uh, tolerance... No, it shouldn't merge. Oh, that's because of the... There we go. Okay, uh, so that's, and then I need kangaroo, collision, solid point, collide. So points that I collide are the vertices, and solids that collide are gonna be B reps. Uh, set multiple, and they're going to be these bad boys. Um, and also probably this as well, just just in case. Okay, those are the solids. Oh my god, this uh, this is not gonna be a fast calculation, is it? Um, well, let's just try. No, it's actually not that bad. They just... They, did they just freaking fall through? Uh, okay. Okay. Meshes, yes. Join meshes. Um, actually, is it closed? It's not closed. Okay. Um, why? Valid closed poly surface. 
closed poly surface extrusion okay um is closed is poly surface closed yes all of them are closed but the meshes are not closed after they are joined okay is there like a way of try remeshing this quickly mm. okay i have like 10 minutes more and then i will definitely need to leave let's say 20 and let's go list item let's just go for one mesh uh-huh runaway face so this is too uh too much okay that that works so 10 10 works and it's pretty fast so let's go for five five doesn't uh, sharp um preserve sharp features iterations okay let's let's just all of the geometry show it to me how are you gonna do this fine so these are closed right is mesh uh, is mesh closed no um join with meshes and weld is mesh closed it's not okay a uh, dupe border or um, mesh edges Just show me the naked ones. All of these are naked edges. How? How can they be naked edges? Oh, that's because the pipes, the, the pipes are running away. Okay, so I need to have less. But less just messes this shit up. Um, so there is some sort of a iterations one iteration don't care so eight okay it's just a shit show mm. Okay, what if we quad remesh? Mm, definitely with less uh, settings. Uh, there we go. So let's say adaptive size i don't care adaptive count uh true if number of quads allowed okay target count there we go so i need like a 500 polygon mesh not more i need it to be very simple okay uh is mesh closed true okay it closes the mesh oh my god it closes the mesh um remesh all of the b reps i don't care i'll wait like this will take like half a minute i didn't save the file fuck <laughs> uh, don't don't crash i'm sorry don't crash 
Stay alive. Stay alive. Okay, it did it. Is it closed? Uh, some of them are. Um, let's just do this mesh like that. Uh, wire display, no. Uh, internalize data and let's save now. By the way, 200 megabyte file. Mm. Okay, that's done. Uh, grasshopper. So we have a mesh here. Uh, that means I don't really need this anymore. I'll, I'll figure out how to fix it here. So some of these are closed. Um, some of these are open. Let's just see if I use this, use these meshes as solids, if it's going to react in any way. Yes, it does. And then it kind of falls through. Okay, but it does. That's good. That means I just need more points, I guess, and less uh, gravity. 0 0.0005, like half of that. Uh, then my bending strength is like f half of that. Amount of points is like 200. Whoop. Uh, like that. Is there like a meta ball proximity to the Voronoi convex hull? Deloney. I could technically do this. Mm. Do I even have anything here that might honeybee puffer fish visual arc? Kangaroo, human, anemone, viri, horster, extra, octopus. Okay, I don't have anything here. So let's just see if that's gonna not fall down. It's falling through. It fell through. I'm gonna scream. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Okay. Uh, let's get. Uh, le let's make 100% sure that we are doing everything we can. So for that, I need cocoon and what's the other one? Like a voxel mesher grasshopper voxelizer voxels voxels. Okay, food. For Rhino. Um, oh, need to log in. Okay. Um, uh, not voxels. The marching cubes. Let, let's just try try that that way. Uh, fuck, it's not one of these. Um, Dendro, Dendro, Dendro. I need Dendro. There we go. Let's just get it in here. Wait, that's a newer one. Okay. Please don't have DLLs. Please don't have DLLs. Has a DLL, of course. Uh, so I need to actually then restart Rhino after 
uploading it. Um, we are out of time. Nope. We are out of time, so I need to work with this, whatever I've got here. Unfortunate. Wanted to do some, some cool stuff. Yeah, next time we'll, we'll do like a a proper simulation for this. Right now it's just going to be hand sculpted. Something like that. Something like that. Something like that. Um, I don't care what happens there in the top. Pipe a uh, two millimeter wire, pipe a uh, three millimeter wire. One of them is gonna be blue. And the second one is gonna be black. That that's easy. Where the hell did my Okay. <laughs> I was scared there for a second. Something like this. so yellow so yellow mm. we'll fix the yellowness is way out there actually I want to see my camera go okay so camera is there that means the light is not that bad the light can kind of hit it from there but this one is bad so this one needs to turn around now it's not that bad okay um one of the wires is not blue what's up with that this is blue, right? Yeah, it's blue. Uh, so just be blue. Oh yeah, yeah it's blue. It's blue. Okay. Uh, so that's that's the thing that's happening. Then we ungroup. Ungroup. And we start applying. Um, let's go for... Perspective view here. Let's just kind of apply the materials as we see fit. So these are definitely going to be metal, right? These. Uh, metal. Okay, and then these are also going to be, oh, come on, going to be metal. Then these, th these, these, there we go, and you, and you, as well as you are going to be metal, okay, and then this, 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 
this this uh, uh, <laughs> this and this there we go are gonna be plastic light gray um that forces this to look really funky really weird so I'm going to say that these two are also metal just to get that continuity there but yeah now this is better this is better let's find the the angle and then that's it that's gonna be it for for today i think the angle is gonna be with uh so we're using a 50 mil lens uh let's try 70 uh or let's try 30. 30 makes it look bigger No, I don't like that. I like 70 more. Actually, 50. <laughs> 50 is even better. This is pretty close. Yes. We're done. Okay. We are done. We can now apply depth of field to this pick a point that's gonna be like here um, increase the depth of field increase the effects of vignetting a little bit and that's it that's it then then we hit the final render Ooh. okay was a rush day almost four hours of work but we're we're making progress we're for sure making progress i'm happy with with how this is turning out so tomorrow uh we're going to begin a little bit yeah that's good uh we're going to begin a little bit later And that looks pretty nice. Um, it's it's going to be in the evening in Europe, but should should be um, a pretty decent, a pretty long stream. This seems convincing, right? Like with the scratches and the dirt on the metal and the fingerprints. The fingerprints there. Also the lens effects on the little screen there. Yeah, I think I think this is good. Thank you everyone for all three of you who, st <laughs> who stuck around until the end um i will i will see you tomorrow we still have a few streams left before i will have a long break for uh, catching up with other work that i need to do so i'll see you tomorrow bye